a really good week. Um, if the recording isn't as clear this week, I did a right number on my phone uh, that I normally record on. A right number. So I'm using my old one, I always keep a spare, uh, luckily, because I am very, very clumsy. So if the recording's not as good, I do apologise. Hopefully I'm going to get this sorted in the next few weeks, uh, but we're back on my old phone at the moment. So what we're going to do today is what are their current thoughts about you. Now I've picked up the tarot dice, I've also picked up two separate decks that we're going to use. As always it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your uh, circumstances. I hope that you all had a really really good Halloween or Samhain, you had a, a great time with whatever you were doing. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two so what I need you to do is think about you and think about your person and as you think about your person I really want you to feel that heart-centered energy that you have towards them going into the decks that you are most drawn to okay that's fabulous wonderful this is Janet Pedalato's uh, mystic dream tarot she's ace I love her I do um and these are the green witch tarot green witch tarot I can't remember who they're by um but they are on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with deck one um, and I'm going to do your dice first and foremost and then we'll go into your cards. Okay, so deck number one about their current thoughts and feelings. So can you tell me please what is their person thinking about deck number one? The collective energy on that. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. I need to make sure I keep these upright so they don't go. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords. We have, let me flick it that way, the Five of Pentacles. And we also have Judgment. Okay, so right off the bat, what's happening with your person? They're feeling very heavily burdened by everything at this moment in time. Spirit is saying there is this very, feeling this kind of very strong pressure on their shoulders. Um, they're feeling like they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders at the moment. And it's not just with regard to the situation with you. It's other things that are happening around them. Um, with their thoughts towards you, that burdening energy does step forward. That perhaps they've made wrong, um, you know, they've handled the situation wrong. That they haven't been their authentic self, spirit are saying. And perhaps they made a choice on this situation, which has left you feeling a little bit stuck out in the cold and unsure of what's going on. Your person is also echoing that loneliness that's coming forward with you guys. So regardless of your individual circumstances, there is that level of um, feeling burdened by it and feeling sorrow and feeling sadness over the situation with you. Um, they do feel very alone. And again, you guys are mirroring in that aspect that you're both feeling thinking about the situation a lot, that you're both feeling quite alone with the situation. Even though you guys are reaching out to people of your tribe, um, you might find that sometimes they throw judgments and opinions on you about specific people and it really starts to weigh on your shoulders. So you've both got this heaviness weighing down on both of your shoulders. Um, now, that being said, we have got this movement coming towards you with the Knight of Cups, okay? Your person does have very strong feelings for you, very strong emotions for you. Um, and again, it's very much this mirroring energy. It feels to be a lot more circumstantial with you guys um, that it hasn't quite worked out at this point in time. But it's more to do with circumstances than it is to do with emotions because your person's emotions for you are very, very real. Um, but they've got themselves into a place of fear, okay? With the Nine of swords coming up, they've got themselves into a place of fear, they've got themselves into a place of spirit saying regret and remorse where they're feeling very stuck, unsure of what to do. It's almost, you know, we talk about, I can't do it in this in this house, but you know, when we spoke about the claw before, how in the daylight you would see a normal hand, in the darkness when the shadows come, you start to see the claw. Your person is working through their shadow side of themselves, they're working through those shadow aspects, uh, but you have got movement coming towards you on your collective energy. The choice that's been made, they are judging themselves for how they've handled this situation. They are judging themselves for the actions that they have made towards it. And again, this is where that regret and remorse is coming forward with the collective energy of you all. Okay, so that's what spirits say. That's what the, the dice say. Now let's look at your cards. Okay, can you get me into deck number one's collective energy, please? Deck number one. Okay. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? 
and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. England now, you know, before it was just my city was on full lockdown. Uh, today, the whole country is back on lockdown. So we are, I'm back at home all the time. So if you want a reading, um, it's a good time to book because I'm just going to be working. Okay, can you tell me what is their person's current thoughts towards that number one? What is that person's current thoughts? So I'm only going to pull five cards today. Two. Three. These are good. You're going to like these. Four. Five. You are going to really like these cards. Okay. So for those of you that read tarot, you have the sun, the lovers, the ace of pentacles, the moon, and the king of wands. Okay, so right off the bat, the overall energy is feeling good. So we've looked at the heaviness that comes with the dice. If we go beyond the heaviness of the dice, we have got this, again, we said we've got this movement coming towards you with the Knight of Cups energy. Now, from that Knight of Cups energy, your person is going to come towards you and he's going to, they, sorry, sorry lads, um, they are going to be making more stable movement towards you. Okay, so with the sun kind of coming up over here, we can really see the energy aligning of the fire and water. So your two aspects, your side, their side, the duality, the light and dark, the masculine, the feminine, your energies are aligning with one another. So perhaps where um, in the past you guys haven't seen eye to eye, there is this meeting in the middle now and that energy is merging between the two of you and you're going to be coming to a place of peace with this situation. Now that place of peace is very much based on the lovers, okay? So they their thoughts towards this is this is what they want. This is the connection that they want with you. They want this relationship to work out with you. They're kind of hoping as well that it's not too late for from everything that they've kind of, how they've handled the situation. They're hoping that it's not too late, but you do have this very strong energy coming forward. You guys watching this are in more, uh, are more in control of the situation than you probably think you are. So if your person has been the one that's calling the shots, actually um, you are the one that is more in control than this than what they are in okay, case so they might think they're calling the shots but really you're the ones that are taking control of this they can't get you out of their thought process you are really mingling and playing havoc in their mind spirit is saying um even so much as to say when we had the kind of nine of swords over here about this fear-based energy um the fear-based energy is based around loss and losing and you know abandonment all of that energy coming forward and um, they do want to be in a place of peace with you they do want to see what happens between the two of you You've also got this very sexual energy coming up between you both, especially with the King of Wands over here. But with that, we also have this vulnerability, okay? So your person um, realises that, you know, before in the past they haven't been their authentic self with you. They're realising now that they can be, you know? They're realising now that they don't have to wear a mask, that they don't have to hide in the shadows, that they can actually be themselves around you. And if you guys aren't in contact, that sweeping movement is coming towards you. If you guys are in contact, you've still got sweeping movement movement and it's quite it's quite quick based movement and it's based on heart centered energy so your persons in their thought process have this really big wake up call that this is a connection that they want this is that they want to be with you and they want your energies to align you've got really positive outcomes happening all around him with your ace of pentacles as well this energy is coming forward so if you are in a third party relationship just a couple of you if you are in a third party relationship your person is still looking towards you rather than the person that they are with. Um, if you're not in a third party relationship, your person is feeling more balanced over the situation. But again, you are the ones that are in more control of this than what you think you are. And you have this two cards here, really focusing on the energy, the power that you guys have. So you've gone through this place where you've been feeling in the shadows, you've come out the other side or coming out the other side, your energy is aligning with the universe and you're starting to get from the universe what it is you want. If you wanna test that, um, just ask the universe, dear universe, show me something beautiful. See how quickly it happens. If it happens really quickly, that is the speed that you are manifesting. If it happens slower, again, it's the speed that you are manifesting. If that slower manifestation for you to see something beautiful takes quite some time, um, then there is going to be this need to really kind of start releasing the fears surrounding this situation. But most of you have stepped out of that. You know, most of you have stepped away from that fear-based energy and are now moving towards what it is that you want with your person or soon to be what you want with your person. There is strong movement coming in 
towards this part of the year, okay, so the latter part of the year where we are now, towards the end of Christmas, you've got this very strong energy coming forward from your person. Their love for you is very, very real. Um, their thought process on this is that they have realized that this is what they want, this is something that they want to pursue, that they don't want to let you go, that they can't cope without you, um, and that they are never going to find the same relationship with anyone else, you know? You are one in a million to them, and they're really starting to sense that, you know? Um, and through that sensing of the energy, there is that compounding of negativity, spirit is saying, and that compounding of negativity is going to be leading them towards the light. You know, Dumbledore, the spirit just said there, the Dumbledore quote, that it's happiness can be found in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. And this is where your person is at the moment, they're turning on the light of the situation. So where that heaviness and loneliness has been weighing on both of your hearts, um, weighing in both of your minds, that is shifting. Now there is a very, very big energy shift happening with deck number one. The moon energy kind of coming up here. Um, this is about you guys, again, kind of standing in your power, being in... Um, a place where you're feeling much more strong, much more powerful, much more aligned with your purpose when it comes to your person. You've started to see outside of the box, you know. Um, you might have felt over the last however however long it's been for you and your person, you might have felt that you were kind of boxed in, that you were feeling that this was um, a lot of pressure, that it wasn't working, that it wasn't going the way you wanted it to, but now there is that massive shift going on within your energy. It's very much adapted with the lunar cycles as well, Spirit is saying, with um, Samhain, Halloween and the full moon kind of coinciding, it's the first time that's happened since 1944, so this is a big shift of transformational energies with all you guys um so where you felt like your dreams were a little bit rocky that you weren't sure what's gonna what's been going on you're almost it's almost a bit like a uh, spirit just showed me the tornado in in um wizard of oz and dorothy's house moving from one to the next place and it's kind of like that shift in dimensional vibration happening with you that like you've shifted your energy from where you were to where you're going you know, and that focus on the future is meaning that your person is aligning with your needs. They're aligning with what it is that you want. So this is where this kind of judgment card is coming in. Perhaps past judgments made this situation very difficult, but it's now shifting with your Knight of Cups energy over here. Your person is working through the shadow sides. This was Nine of Swords. Your person is working through those shadow aspects and starting to see the light of the situation. Um, feeling very burdened by it, uh, very much going through their thought process about how to make, um, yeah, Okay, yeah, they're saying how to right the wrongs and make it, you know, how to right the wrongs, essentially. Um, and with the Five of Pentacles, you know, there is this very strong loneliness coming forward with them, feeling very bogged down by everything um, and really wanting to make it right. And through making it right, you know, your cards are so positive. You've got this Ace of Pentacles energy, this much more stable beginning, and you've got them coming in with heart-centered energy towards you. You've got your emotions, your energy shifting and changing under the under the full moon. It's, it's all changing and then this card if you look really carefully you can see the sun and the moon again masculine feminine at feminine energy is all aligning remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but there's still always a masculine and feminine and that is your energies aligning there there are like jigsaw pieces going around this card so it's like it's you're still kind of waiting for the jigsaw pieces to fit into place but spirit is saying that you've learned a lot of the lessons from this situation and so it's ready to take it to the next chapter which is where your energies align with one another and again you've got your sun and your moon at the top your fire and your water your energies aligning with each other and being in a place of peace um your king of wands energy over here you're still worried about what's happened you're worried that um this is something that you're never going to forget everything that you kind of gone through it's something that you're never going to forget because you're feeling in a way that they really hurt you or whatever actually individually happened in your circumstances there is that oh god can we go through this again but with the scythe kind of coming through the elephant's hand even though this is about never forgetting the scythe is symbolizing here that this is um you are going to be able to cut the past out and move towards the future with your person and with the little mouse at the bottom this is symbolizing the home okay so even though you went through the sense of loss and feeling that you know like you need to protect yourself this energy is shifting there's also a plane on here for the again this movement the tornado taking you from one place 
to the next place. And with the lovers coming forward, again, you are more in control of this situation. Um, you've kind of got these flowers at the bottom and spirit is saying, forget me, not flowers. Your person is never going to forget this connection. They want to see what happens with you and their current thought process on it all, where it's going, what they want, is they want to make this work. And so with your Knight of Cups energy coming forward in the dice, it's in the immediate future. And that is deck number one. Okay, beauties, have a phenomenal week, whatever you are doing. All of you guys stay safe. Um, I know my city at the moment is, um, we're having a massive research. I live in the north of England and it's really hit the north of England. Um, you know, the virus re you know, the second wave of the virus, it's really hit the north of England. So I'm sending healing out to everyone that is being affected by this as well. Um, if you have any names of anyone you want me to send healing to, just pop it in the comments for me. Um, look after yourself, deck number one. I will speak to you soon. Goddess blessings to you all and stay safe. Bye guys. Okay guys, so deck number two. Now what I'm gonna do, as I did with deck number one, is I'm gonna start off with your tarot dice. Um, and then we will look into your cards, okay? So can we get into deck number two's energy? I've had a good sage spray between it all. I make my own um, sage spray when it comes to clearing things, so sage energy out. Okay, the people of deck number two, and can we have the cards of uh, what their current thought process is about their person watching? Here we go. Interesting, you have the nine of cups as well. Knight of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups over here. Hermit. Good old Hermit. <laughs> Five of Swords. I don't know if you can see the numbers on these because they're the same colour. Oh no, it's the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Okay, so what the current thought process is towards you. So your person is likely to have been retreating from a situation with regard to you. Um, you've got two 12s coming up here. Now, when we look at numerology and one and two, that makes a three. So if we look at your dice, you literally have a three, a three, and a three. So this is indicating here that this is going to a place that has more abundance between the two of you. It's also a place of more action. There is a lot of action-based energy coming up with your dice in number one so even though it's going to feel with the hermit number nine even though it's going to feel like nothing has really been happening between you both and you've been like well what's actually going on i don't really understand this i can't get my head around it from that place of retreating you have this this movement coming towards you and with the six of swords coming up as well this is shifting away from stuff that's happened in the past and moving towards a brighter future between you both very strong cards of action you know the 12 uh, the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups your person here is thinking about making moves towards you much more stable moves than perhaps they have done before there is this need for grounding and stability coming from them towards a connection with you so they're working on a more stable basis with the knight of cups coming up as well this is talking about their movement based on love so you're going to be receiving, if you haven't received messages from your people, you're going to be receiving messages that are a lot more heart centre based and a lot more where is our future going. So your person's really planning at the moment where this connection is going and what is going to happen between you both. If they've been blowing hot and cold with you or you haven't been in contact and they've been in this kind of hermit mode, this is where they do their thought processing, okay? So when your person goes quiet or you don't hear from them, they really go through this thought process of where it's going, what can happen, and try and come up with solutions to the situation. And the solutions that are coming forward, looking at your dice, is immediate action coming forward, okay? So your person is currently thinking that they have these very strong emotions for you, that they wanna make a future with you, they want to make movement of both of those energies. Um, they've took a little bit of a step back from it, but there is going to be a research in the connection between the two of you, and there is immediate action stepping forward, okay? And that's just looking at your cards and listening to spirit. That is um, the first part of the reading, okay? So now let's have a look at your tarot cards. I'm just going to have a quick sip of water. We've nearly run out of chalice well water now. I wish I bought more bottles of it at home. Debt number one, uh, debt number two. Okay. Right, think debt number, debt number two energy. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? 
and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number two as well. So two more. One. <laughs> my brother, uh, my brother's in spirit and as I was saying one two, he went one two, miss a few, 9900. God, I haven't said that for years. You remember when you used to put your toes together in the playground and you was going round <laughs> Mickey Mouse in his house pulling down his trousers. You know, all of that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> he said one, two, miss a few, 99, 100. Okay, so let's do this. What is that person currently thinking about them? What is that person currently thinking? God, they're flying out for deck number two. This is really interesting. You've got some of the same stuff that deck number one had. You've got the lovers. Oh, and you've got the sun as well. Okay, we're gonna, just going to go with these cards that we have here. So it's almost as if your person's had a bit of a breather with this kind of hermit energy and the four of swords over here. Your person has took a bit of a step back from the situation or they've been a little bit quiet. They've been going through this period of having a rest. They've been feeling a little bit ungrounded, uncentered, not really sure what they're doing with their life and there is an impact of self-confidence coming up here. So even if your person has got this massive facade that they're the most confident person in the world, they have got this kind of fear coming forward and this fear spirit is saying is a fear of rejection okay so the reason potentially one of the reasons why your person hasn't made these strong movements towards you yet is because they're scared about how you will deal with this situation how you will handle it what you would say to them because in recent contact or in your however you've been they've been watching you over at social media or what they've been doing they've seen that you are actually on top of your game now they're seeing you in a very strong powerful position and if we look at the bird looking through the window there is definitely this kind of going watching what you are doing um with the iris is coming forward here this is the divine connection that you guys share they often call um they often call irises the rainbow bridge i have an iris tattooed on my back for when my brother passed away to spirit um the iris is this connection between the two of you the very strong bond that holds you two together again it's more of a divine connection and they feel that you've been trying to cut it off or you've been trying to just step away from it because of their actions. Um, but from that, that's made them want to chase you more. And with those two night energy coming forward, this is them wanting to work their way back to you. I just got a song. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just got Lavender um, by Marillion, Gonna Find A Way Back To You. Okay, so they've been trying to find the way back to you or they are going to be finding a way back to you with that as well you've got a penny for my foot your thoughts my dear your person doesn't know what you are thinking at this moment in time um, and that is inspiring and sparking that curiosity in them that they want to find out what is going on with you guys okay with the lovers and the ace of wands over here this is your person wanting this future with you um you still have this level of protection going on but again they feel that you are the one that is more in control of this um they're seeing you in a much more stable position than you have been before and that is really really drawing them towards you they're wanting to check out check you out I'm checking you out. They want to check you out. They want to see what you're up to and they want to see what's going on. There's also a very strong physical attraction and chemistry between you both as well. That is coming forward really, really strongly. And as the leaves have turned the colours at this moment in time, this is again kind of happening in the here and now, right now. So your person is seeing you in this very strong position, wanting to make moves towards you based on the heart-centred energy between you both. Um, even though they're retreating from it at the moment, that movement is coming forward with your two knights in the dice. We have a bit of conflicting energy going on with them as well. This is them worrying, um, this is them kind of analysing their head and their heart. Their heart is pulling you towards, uh, pulling them towards you, pulling you towards them. Their, their heart has these very strong emotions. There's also their soul, spirit is saying their soul is pulling you towards them. You know, if they start trying to act on the head on, them, on this 
it's fear energy, it's not going to work, the soul energy is too strong, the soul energy is going to win and they're going to pull you forward, okay, so really establishing this connection, really bringing this connection to the forefront. Um, potential over here as well that you guys might have an argument coming up, but if you do have an argument it is going to be short lived, okay, Spirit saying it will be short lived, you might go for a little bit of downtime, back into Hermit, back into the Four of Swords, but then the reconnection establishes between the both of you. So your person seeing you in a much more independent, sassy, sexy, powerful energy. You know, very strong, very sexy, very sassy. And through that, you've got these kind of happy outcomes wanting to come towards you. You really ignite your person's soul. You really ignite their emotions for you. Um, you really give them that kind of lust for life. And perhaps in uh, previously, they've almost felt that they were existing rather than than living and with you and the connection between you both they really feel that this um, is something that is you know magnificent phenomenal incredible and so that wanting this to connection to go the next stages is coming up in a thought process which is really cool and um, again the chemistry between you both of you is really really strong they're always going to see you as a level of temptation you know, they can't step away from this. It really isn't something so easy that they can just throw it to the curb. They can't, um, I just got your, a song for you. I got, should I uh, give up or should I just keep chasing pavements? That's how you were feeling, but now you're stepping into this Queen of Swords energy and they've got gonna find a way back to you. You've got the realigning of your energies coming forward really, really strongly. Um, very, very positive, positive cards. With the birds flying over the top over here, um, you also have the freedom that comes with this connection. So there is gonna be anywhere that has been in this kind of devil energy and the darker side of things you're stepping forward now into the lighter side of the connection between the two of you and again with the thought process of it you've got very very strong movement coming your way really strong movement a lot of taking action there is a lot of action here watch out for three three threes if you start seeing them uh, this is going to be about the connection that you guys share and the movement from this connection towards you with the six of swords again just kind of floating away they have floated away from all the stuff that's happened in the past and they're now ready to take this to the next steps with you okay so what is the current thought process at the moment they're thinking let's take this to the next steps let's get this situation moving let's get it shifting um, they're stepping out of the hermit you know, they're stepping out of this reflection time um, and really moving, making this strong action towards you. And it, again, it's not too far away. It's not too far away. The chemistry between the two of you is undeniable. They're feeling a lot more level-headed with their emotions for you as well. There is a sense of acknowledging the, the emotions between you both. Very much a sense of acknowledging that. Um, all the hard work that you guys have been putting into this relationship is now shifting and changing as well. That transmutation of the connection between you both. Um, and again... It's a more divine connection. They're still going to be a little bit on self-protect on occasions. So if you're trying to push them into telling you how you, they feel about you, uh, let them do that on their own terms. You know, um, if you push them into saying, oh, tell me you love me, do this, do that, you're going to kind of push them back into the hermit mode. They will come to you on their own terms and express how they are feeling about you and what they want. Um, but let them do that rather than you kind of pushing them and backing them into a corner. Because if you back them into a corner, they're going to hide. All right, really strong cards, really positive stuff happening here. Uh, very strong connection. Current thought process of this is let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Um, but you guys keep staying in your Queen of Swords energy. Keep staying in your power. They haven't forgotten you. If you're not in contact, there is that movement back towards you. They want to know what you're thinking and what you're doing and where it is going. What's going to happen next between the both of you? So it's really, really positive. Happy outcomes kind of spinning all around. Happy outcomes based on the chemistry, the connection. Happy outcomes based on the love that you two share. The lovers in its own right. And there's only two lovers on here. So it's really positive. And your queen of swords energy. It's just, it might take a little while longer with the four of swords and hermit. But other than that, action, action, action coming up on your dice as well. 
okay? And that is deck number two. So if you need me, just give me a shout. Uh, England is back on lockdown. The whole of England is back on lockdown. Um, so I am just gonna be at home all the time and reading. So if you need me, it's a really good time to book. Look after yourself, guys. I will speak to you soon. God bless uh, my angels. Uh, lots of love. Ta-ra!